Hi, welcome to this video. Today, I want to show you five essential local SaaS app features. You know, there are tons of times where you want to create a SaaS application. When I mean SaaS, I mean software as a service with your local application, but it's, it can be very tedious when you want to figure out where to start because software as a service can be very cumbersome. Some can be very simple. You can hook yourself in a micro SaaS, in a macro SaaS. You can, you know, build something that nobody's ever seen before. But the question is, where do I really start building my SaaS application? So today I want to show you five of the essential features that every no-code SaaS application has. So these are features that if you every no-code application you've ever seen in your entire life, every no-code application you've ever seen, you've ever used, they have these five features and they serve as a backbone. So if you have these five features in your application, there's a very high chance that you are going to make it. There is a very high chance that you're going to be very, very, very successful in your local journey. So I'm going to start with number one. Number one is authentication. So every no code application requires a way to authenticate your users. You don't want every Dick and Harry to jump into your application, do things with your application. You need to be able to know who's joining your application, know if they are paying users or if they are not paying users, understand from you know you just need to gather all these analytics so that you everybody jumping into your application that's why in every no code search you always have login sign up this type of application can be simple applications like you're just logging in via your email it might be email less login it might be password less login it might be sign up with google it might be sign up with apple it, it just can be anything you know it might be Users just input their email. When they input your email, you send them a password and that password, they come back to your application and use it to log in into your application. So it might be one of these things, but the thing is every mobile application, every SaaS application must have a way for users to log in. For example, this is an application that I'm currently building on, uh, on Flutterflow. And as you can see, I have the login feature and I have the create account feature. It is a way that for me to vet those persons who are coming into my application if they are repeat persons or not. So that's number one. Number two, <clears throat> you need to have the gated content or the gated areas. So think of it. SaaS application always have something locked in that you cannot use until you make an upgrade, right? It's making sense to you, right? There's always something that you cannot use until you make it. You might get started with a yeah, you might get started with a free tier and then you move up the ladder. So you're expecting your users to move up the ladder when they get started with a free tier. You can just see that with every no code tool you use. Flutterflow, Bubble, Adalo, any of the no code tools you, you use, they always give you a chance to start from a free trial and then move you all the way. Let's say, for example, you're creating a uh, you're creating a mailing list. Yeah, that's a SaaS, right? You're creating a mailing list, or you're creating an AI copywriter, a an AI tool that enables users to write copy, right? Then you would you would say, hey, I'm going to allow you to write copies every month as an user. Those content are not gated, so. And now what you're doing is that you're counting how many times the user writes content. Once the number of content written is equal to five and then the, it's the same month, yeah? This is the month of um, May right now. So if a user in this month of May has written five content, that means that, that you no longer use your application for content creation anymore. Upgrade. I'm going to show you this in this Loom application. So you can see right here, I need you to upgrade. This is what I'm using to record right now. So first, it gives me this free video. It gives me, it puts me on a starter plan. And from the starter plan, it tells me to upgrade for $12.50 every month if I want to keep using this application after 14 days. So every SaaS application must have this if you want to be very successful. So the next thing that you must have is transactional emails. 
marketing is the lifeblood of every SaaS application. You want to keep your users in your application. You want to keep them coming back over and over and over again. See, the cost of acquiring a new user is way more expensive compared to the cost of keeping the user you already have. Watch this. Listen to this. A user get to figure figure you out on Twitter or on YouTube or any other social channel or maybe on Google search, uh, search results and jump into your application, sign up, but do not come back again after like two days. Are you going to let the user go or are you going to send the user an email? That's what you want to do. You want to send the user an email. You want to send the user an email after sign up. You want to send the user an email after creating, the, after you know upgrading their account. You want to send the user an email. You want to send them email to show them how to use your SaaS application. You want to send them an email when there's an upgrade. So you just want to transact with your customer over and over and over again. You want to create a sequence that will enable you to keep your relationship with your users over and over again. And this happens for both paying users and non-paying users. You want to keep your relationship with both of them. For paying users, you want to make sure they keep paying. For not paying users, you want to make sure that they upgrade their account to that stage where they get to pay for your, for your product. Then number four, you need a way to collect payment. Absolutely. If you're not making money from your SaaS application, there's no reason why you should have a SaaS application in the first place. It's right. You really have to be able to collect payment. Some of my favorite payments include Stripe. Stripe is like the, the king of the payment business. The king of the payment business because it's easy for you to collect payment. It's easy for you to reconcile payment. It's easy for you to send invoices, for you to know if your payment has landed or not. It's easy for you to do all of these things. Stripe is super cool. Then another gateway that I like is Lemon Squeezy. It might not be very popular for you, but if you are in in countries where Stripe is not accepted, you can simply go to Lemon Squeezy. You a payment from about 100 countries and it's very fast kyc is super good unlike stripe if you are not from this from developed country if you're from any countries in africa you really can't use stripe to do anything it is almost impossible for you to do so why because um, they have this location fee if you are in africa you really can use stripe to to, to transact business but for lemon squeezy you can basically use it to transact respects you where you are that's what i basically use it's easy for you to implement you can jump on their api you can call their api payment if they have a you can connect payment i'm not advertising for them but i'm just saying it's a it's a very cool alternative if you don't want to go through all those boring process or spend tons of dollars trying to register a company in the u.s super cool and number six you must have support Support is very, 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 very important when it comes to uh, building mobile application with with uh, um, no code. Support is very, very, very important. When your users are purchasing your application, they need support. When they are done purchasing it, they need support. In the future, again, they need support. So these are the kind of support you you provide. Three different type of support you always provide for your SaaS application. Number one is the pre-purchase support. You want to lead them all the way. And this, this kind of support, you want to create content, video content, texture content, GIFs, images, to just lead your users all the way to yourself. To convince them that you are able to, but you're able to satisfy their need with your product. And then there is during purchase support. This, this is the kind of support that happens on the payment page itself. Um, this is the kind of support that, hey, they, are, they can't make payment, they get to call you. They are having difficulty making payment, they get to call you. This is the kind of support you do like reassurance. You know, these are kind of support you use testimonials, reassurance, you reassure them that, hey, you can make this purchase, it's gonna be fine, everything's gonna be good. Then there is post purchase support. This kind of support you give them once they finish making payment, reassuring them that, hey, you can always get all the benefits you, you wanted to get when you decided to use my SaaS application. 
Do you understand, right? Without this type of support, you're going to churn. Like your SaaS application is going to churn. What it means is that your users are going to leave. If users jump on your on your tool, they're not getting the kind of support they need. They are going to jump ship and go to the next person who can really answer their question. This type of support, you can do them by having a chatbot in your application. An easy way to create a chatbot is to use Landbot. You can use Landbot to do that. It's pretty straightforward. You can use Landchain to do that. Pretty straightforward. You can actually use post, blog post to offer this kind of support. It's very, very cool for you to do so. Then last bonus. So it's five bonus. Yo, this is a bonus. That's what it is. Integrations. Not a big must. Just thing now is something to have in your SaaS application. You want to be able to communicate with other things. Your SaaS application should be able to communicate with other SaaS applications. So it basically makes sense for you. Though you're already doing integration with payments, you're already doing integration with transactional emails, you some, somehow you're doing integration with support, but there's some other tools that you want to integrate with. There's some other tools that you want to integrate with that will make your life a whole lot better. Uh, tools like Zapier, tools like Make.com, tools like N8N, th uh, tools like, um, you know, there are lots of other tools. Pebble, there are lots of other tools that make it easy for your users and for your customers. You want to be able to integrate with third-party tools that, you, that can aid your entire SaaS application so you don't have to build anything. Do you understand? That's something that you want to do. You want to pick out tools that will enable you to that will enable you to build, that will enable you to build a whole lot faster. You don't want to reinvent the wheel. If another tool is already providing the service, why do you want to build it? For example, when I'm dealing with database, I will just go straight away to Firebase, Xano, or um, Superbase, Backend Flow. Any of these tools because Provide everything that I need. I do not write, need to write write any authentication. I do not need to write anything like you know design my database schema so much because they're already providing all these things for me. All I have to do is to go ahead and use it. Integration saves so much time. I'm you, it saves you so much time, energy that you don't have to do all the things yourself. You don't really have to reinvent the wheel yourself because it just works so those are the five those are the five essential features you need number one like i said you need authentication number two people are going to be paying for which is content or areas number three transactional emails number four you need payment number five you need to, and as a bonus right now you need integration the five things you need to add to your SaaS application so you can know you can get people for it i hope you enjoyed this if you enjoyed this go ahead and smash the like button come your way up with another start stop in a few days thank you so much for watching meanwhile if you're looking forward to your own sales business i have a free email newsletter that i send to you every week i send to people every week i need to join if you're interested in starting the start business it's called SaaS starter it's majorly for beginners who are trying to start up a SaaS business and earn money for life on the link below it's going to take you to a landing page put in your email address right there and i'll add you to the mailing list where i get to send you one awesome article every week telling you how to move your SaaS business forward meanwhile thank you again for watching i'll see you in the next video